Borderline Personality Disorder. I've found that I am great with people. I am awesome with people. I can make friends quite easily. I can usually get what I want. Now, can I keep friends? No. But, I mean, a very short term, I am excellent at getting friends if I want. I know all the right things to say, all the right things to do. I have the skills of a great manipulator. I've used manipulation to survive, to get by. There's been other times where I've used manipulation just for the fun of manipulation. It is fun to manipulate people, to sit back and enjoy the uh, drama that you cause. Not that I necessarily would want drama. I could cause it. I could make it go away, too. It's almost like being a god. Not that I want to get too grandiose or get too high on mighty on myself. Last time I got all high and mighty on myself, I wound up in the emergency room and then I couldn't walk straight for about a week and a half. But there is a power that comes with manipulation. That control over what is reality. In manipulation, you take truth and you distort it. You play on people's basic human nature. Every once in a while, though, you'll get a good match where both sides know, and then it's a war of manipulation. You're both trying to manipulate the other. Those are fun. I enjoy those a lot. Those have also led to the most destructive relationships I've ever been in. So having borderline personality disorder I never blended in with the regular children. I was always different, the odd one out. It gave me a lot of time to study the other children and the other adults and to learn how to blend in. I was pretty much invisible. Sit with the group and they would continue talking as if I was not there. And as long as I did not bring attention to myself, it was all good. And I wouldn't call it eavesdropping because I wasn't doing it in a sneaky manner. So I sit there on the end. Nobody objects to me sitting there. And you all keep going along your just conversation as if I'm not there. I'm not eavesdropping. It's amazing the things that you can learn when you're invisible. It'd be the same if I sat with a bunch of adults. I mean, privilege, sensitive information that could destroy them if I were to go running around, run in my mouth. I learned how people think about other people. I learned how much the world is just all about gossip. Very little truth, lots and lots of gossip. I learned that people don't like to take responsibility for themselves. They like to look at outside factors, to be the reasoning for their lives being the way it is. I've learned that people don't like to admit when they're wrong or if they don't know something. That is what has made me in the past be a great manipulator. I always point out to somebody else how it's somebody else's fault that their life is shitty. They will love you for it. Also, never blame them for anything. I don't know. It had a point at first. I guess I just say I love the game of manipulation, but I don't do it anymore. And it's sad.
I will get to play the game a little bit tomorrow, for our, I'm going to go see my favorite opponent of all, a therapist. Yes, therapists are the great, the greatest of all, because therapists, it's their job to manipulate you, or to buy the book. It's, it's way easy to manipulate them because you know all of their moves because you can read their books. They never expect you to read their books, but read their books. It'll give you a one-up on them. Learn the DSM. Memorize it. Make it your Bible. You'll be able to stop them every time. All righty. Here's a question of the day. Who out there can figure out what I was talking about. What was this video about? If you figure it out, let me know in the comments section. I'm curious myself. So we're going for 500, 1,000, 5,000 subscribers, then the world. That's right, we're taking over the world one subscriber at a time. So be sure to get on board. You don't want to be that last one to subscribe because we're going to hit you with sticks. Not big sticks, just little sticks and not that hard. But it'll get annoying after a while. So unless you want to be hit with little teeny tiny unharmful sticks, you better hit the subscribe button. Normally I would have yelled that, but it's currently the middle of the night and there are children asleep and geez, I do not want to wake them. There would be hell to pay. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Oh, I drew a dick. Keep on keeping on.